John Calvin, Select Letters, Episode 23. Hoc in parte vedemus te bonis quoque ipsis non satisfacere, etiam si nihil aliud sit, in eo tamen peccas, quod his non satisfacus, quibus te dominus constituit debitorderem, scis quantum te amemus, quantum te colamus. On this score, hoc in parte, we see that you, notice how Widemus introduces oratio obliqua, on this score, on this question, hoc in parte, prepositional phrase, we see that you, bonis quoque ipsis, good men also, the good themselves, we see that you do not satisfy them. Even if, at the omsi, nothing else happens, in this matter, in eo tamen pecas, nevertheless, you sin. In this matter, nevertheless, you are mistaken. You do something wrong. Quod, because, his non satisfacus, you do not satisfy those persons. His here is a masculine plural and dative, just like bonis ipsis was dative because of satisfacera. So, even if nothing else happens, in this matter, nevertheless, you are mistaken. You sin, because you do not satisfy these men. Now, who are these men? Well, he's introduces or prepares us for the relative clause which Quibus begins. These men, or those men whom the Lord has decided, Dominus Constituit, to make you a debtor. The men to whom the Lord has determined, Constituit, to indebt you. So we have Dominus as the subject of Constituit. It's masculine, singular, and nominative. The direct object is te in the accusative. The object complement is debitorem, which is also accusative, and then we have quibus, masculine plural dative, indirect object. So Calvin is talking about himself here and Vire and the other members of the Reform Party when he says you do not satisfy those men whom the Lord has decided to make you a debtor to, to whom the Lord has decided to make you a debtor. And so he says, you know, skis, how much we love you, you know, quantum te colamus, how much we cherish you. So Calvin is giving him a rebuke here, and he quickly softens the rebuke by telling him how much he loves Pharrell. Of course, amemus here and colamus, these are both subjunctive because the construction that we have is indirect question, which is interrogatio obliqua, indirect question, introduced by skis, you know. What do you know? Quantum te amamus, how much we love you, and quantum te colamus, how much we cherish you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.